Hey everyone, my name is Gideon. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how to style the Eric Emanuel shorts. So before I show you guys uh, how I would rock these shorts, I'm gonna to to quickly kind of review the shorts because this is my first time owning a pair of An Eric Emanuel shorts. So I purchased these shorts for retail off the Eric Emanuel website for $98. And since I live in Canada, I had to pay extra for shipping, taxes, and duties. So it ended up being like $130, which is pretty expensive just for a pair of shorts. So the reason why it comes at a super high price point is because these shorts are manufactured in the US, more specifically in New York. So the designer, Eric Emanuel, he lives in New York and he works with the New York garment industry. You know, it's a pretty steep price, but if I wanted to sell these shorts down the road, I could sell them for maybe $150 to $200, depending on the design of the shorts. Cause these shorts, they come with different, a lot of crazy prints and a lot of different like designs. But for this one, I only copped the basic EE shorts, just in this navy colorway with the navy logo you can find these shorts on eric emmanuel website he drops them every friday at noon he drops like a select color a limited quantity every friday always different colors you know i first came across this brand when i saw several celebrities and athletes wearing his shorts you know some of them at first i saw justin bieber wearing them post malone saw lebron wearing them and even like shy you know, Gilgis Alexander, he was wearing them too. And most recently, PJ Tucker was wearing Eric Emanuel shorts at the Milwaukee Bucks Championship Parade. Since I saw lots of celebrities wearing it, I saw a lot of people reviewing it. I figured, okay, I kind of wanted to see for myself if these shorts are really worth the hype. So looking at the shorts, they're like regular mesh shorts, similar to, I guess, champion shorts. It's, it's a very good quality mesh. Like it's not like a cheap kind of mesh material. It's very thick. It's a very short length as well. So I got this in a size medium and I'd say it's similar to fit to like a five or six inch, uh, five, inch five or six inch shorts, which have been kind of trending lately. They sit above the knee. So they're, they're very short. You don't really see a lot of mesh shorts that are this length. And then if you look close on the left leg of the shorts, there's the Eric Emanuel branding. It's the EE logo. And a lot of companies have been kind of biting this Eric Emanuel design, especially this logo. Just, just from how popular this trend has been growing lately and within the past year, the shorts are 100% polyester and they recommend that you cold that you wash it in cold water and hang dry it. It also came in this Eric Emanuel bag, which is pretty cool. It's like a it's like a Ziploc bag. It says Eric Emanuel, one pair of sports product, best shorts in the world, made in New York. So that's a pretty cool detail. Like it's it shows that they really put a lot of effort in like the presentation of these shorts and the packaging, which is pretty nice. All in all, I don't know if these shorts are worth the $98 price point. It it's nothing crazy like it's just like mesh shorts so these are kind of considered designer shorts just because it's made in new york and then again kind of to reiterate these are manufactured in the u.s so that's why it costs a lot to sell because they don't they don't have it manufactured overseas where they can um, get it made for less that's my quick review of these eric emmanuel shorts so let's get into the outfits So for outfit number one, I'm wearing an LA Dodgers new era cap. It's not a fitted, but it, it's kind of shaped like a fitted. It's adjustable at the back. Then for my t-shirt, I'm wearing a black Uniqlo, Uniqlo U oversized Arizona t-shirt, perfect for the summer. And on feet, I have the Easy Foam Runners paired with some Uniqlo tube socks in gray. For outfit number two, kind of same idea here. I'm wearing the Uniqlo U Arism oversized t-shirt in a beige colorway. Then I'm wearing the gray Uniqlo 
tube socks with Jordan 1 UNC highs. Just a nice simple summer outfit. Also, big shout out to this lodge I was staying at for the weekend. Uh, really great place to film. I really just love the lighting here, so had to film my outfits outside. Outfit number three. I have this Justin Bieber purpose tour hoodie in gray, you know, just for you know, the colder summer nights, you know, it gets cold at night, so you want to stay warm. And I have the Uniqlo U socks in gray paired with the Yeezy slides. Just a nice cozy outfit for the summer. For our outfit number four, I'm wearing this Supreme S logo cap in the khaki colorway. So I just reviewed this in like this is the hat that I reviewed in the last video, paired with this Jaguar Represent Vintage tee that I got from Represent. I just really like the, the graphic on this, it's like, and the, the wash of the tee is like that vintage black colorway. On feet, I'm wearing the Nike Blazers, the 77 Vintage Highs in this white colorway with the black swoosh. You know, it's a very, uh, very nice everyday shoe for the summer. For my fifth outfit, I'm wearing the Fear of God fitted cap. This is the Essentials one in black. And for my hoodie, for my top, I'm wearing the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan collab hoodie. Uh, this just recently released along with those Jordan 1 Fragment lows. Then on feet, easy slides again, and then the Uniqlo tube socks. So just a nice like cozy outfit for colder summer days. And yeah, I'd say this is probably my favorite outfit for sure. So that's it for my video guys. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Gideon Mojica. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought about these outfits. Which ones did you like? Which ones did you not like? And how would you rock these shorts? I know these shorts have been kind of been around for, I guess within the, like the past one or two years. So I'm sure a lot of you already own these shorts. So how would you rock them? We're on the road to 500 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. You know, it's crazy to me that there's people out there that I don't know who are watching my videos. So thanks again for watching. Much love. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Every night fucks every day up.